Hey guys, it's Sarah. Today's video is going to be my round four of eyeshadow roulette. I think it's round four, right? January, February, March, April. Yes. So if you've never seen an eyeshadow roulette video from me before, I got the idea from the Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan, which was started by Alexandra Shostin here on YouTube. The version that I do is just a little bit different. It's not really a project pan, but the idea is similar. I use a random number generator to pick five random eyeshadows from my collection, all my palettes, all my singles, and I just make a point to use all five of those shadows throughout the month, create looks with them, find new color combos to wear. It's a lot of fun. In this video, I'm gonna give you a recap on the five shades that I was using throughout March. It was a very earthy green and blue kind of color story, really fun to kick off spring. And then I'll pick five new shadows and try to create a look using all five of them on my eyes. And then those will be the five shadows that I use throughout April. And I'll just try to get as much use of them, use out of them as I can. My goal really isn't to hit pan, but if I do see some progress on the shadows, that's always a nice bonus. And I will also show you some photos of looks that I did throughout the month along with some progress photos of each of the shadows just to show you how much progress I did make. I did not hit any new pans on any shadows this month, but I did use them quite a bit. So this month I had two shadows from the Elf Earth and Ocean palette, which is my current favorite palette in my collection. The shades, the shades were Desert Storm and Sahara. Desert Storm is this mustardy matte brown and Sahara is just this beautiful shimmery green color. I did quite a few looks with both of these shadows this month. I ended up using Desert Storm a lot in the crease. I pretty much tried to use Desert Storm almost every day just as a crease shade. And normally I go for a slightly lighter color in my crease and a slightly more neutral color, but I ended up really liking that sort of mustardy brown shade. Sahara was a beautiful lid shade. It's not often that I wear green eyeshadow, but this month I wore a lot of green eyeshadow. I actually did a look on my IGTV. Lately I've been doing these short little quick makeup looks on there and eyeshadow tutorials, I guess. Um, and I did a look using both of those um, along with some of the other shades in this palette in an IGTV maybe last week. And then I also did a blue look with this palette on IGTV as well. So. Check out my Instagram if you want to see some inspiration <laughs> with this palette, but um, loved both of those shades, and I just kind of fell back in love with this palette all over again this month. It's a beautiful palette. I also had the shade Tea Garden from ColourPop this month. This shade got a lot of use as well. This is like a duochrome green, gold, bronze color. I A lot of times I would just use this all over the lid, and then I would use Desert Storm in the crease and that was just a quick like two shadow look. I loved how well all these shades paired together this month, but I really do love this shadow. I feel like it's more sheer than I remember it being though. For some reason I remember it being a lot more pigmented in the past, so I don't know if mine has just changed or if maybe it's always just been that way, but um, I kind of prefer applying this with my finger and I like applying it when my eyeshadow primer is still tacky because it just kind of holds on a little bit better, but it is a really pretty color. The other two shades, I didn't end up using quite as much this month, but I did use them at least a couple times. One was from the Profusion Spectrum palette in the shade Peacock. I was glad to finally have a shade from this palette picked out because I don't reach for this palette very often. It's a very bold, bright palette. I used this, of course, in my look that I did in my last eyeshadow roulette video, and I also used it another time as a liner on the upper lash line. It looked like a really pretty just like watercolor wing, so I really liked it that way. I think those are the only two times I used this color this month. It's just a little bit brighter than I normally go for, but I was glad to at least use it a couple times. And then the last shade was another kind of aqua blue shade. This is the shade Avalanche from the Shared Planet Polar Bear palette. Um, this shade, I also think I only used it maybe a couple times. I did use it in an Instagram live a couple weekends ago. And I've been doing a lot of like Instagram lives and IGTVs lately just because it's just been fun to connect, you, connect with you guys in more ways than just my videos because I know a lot of us are needing some distraction lately. So anyway, I did, I don't think I took a picture of that look that I ended up doing, but if you happen to catch that live and you saw it, I just used it all over the lid and then I actually topped it with my Stila diamond dust glitter. So it was a very blue, like aqua blue glittery look. Really pretty shade. Those were the five shadows that I used all throughout March. I really enjoyed it and it really got me into like a green mood. And it's funny because I rarely wear green eyeshadow, but I've just been loving greens lately. And just really that Elf Earth and Ocean palette has been my main 
inspiration this month. I've just been using it a ton. So now I'm going to choose five new shadows to use throughout April. How are we already in April? It's crazy to me. So I have this list just in a spreadsheet here and I have taken out any shadows that are currently in my project pan. There's just the, a few Stila glitters and then an elf single. And then also any shadows that have already been chosen at any point since I've been doing this series. I think I've been doing this eyeshadow roulette series for almost a year now. Um, I can't believe it's already been that long. But all of those have been removed. I also haven't bought any new shadows this month. Doing a great job not buying a ton of makeup lately. And so I now have 155 pans to choose from. So I'm just gonna pull up the Pretty Random app and put in numbers one through 155 and we'll pick some shadows. Okay, so first I got 68. Next I'm getting 149. Next. 111, 13, and finally 153. Okay, this is kind of funny. Five, four out of the five shadows are elf shadows. So number 68 is from the Elf Opposites Attract palette, and it's the shade Calm. Calm is just this matte gray. It's not every day that you find a color like that in a palette. Right. Then 149 is from the Elf Bite Sized eyeshadow quad in pumpkin pie and it's the first shade in here so it's this matte warm orangey brown so one very cool matte followed by a very warm matte 111 is from the elf earth and ocean palette which i'm really happy this got chosen again this is the shade siren so it's this nice really like shimmery denim blue kind of cool blue there's that Next is number 13. This is from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. It's the shade Antique Bronze. So sort of satin brown shade. And then 153 is another elf shadow. This is from their best friend eyeshadow duo in Peach Squad and it's the bronze shade in here. That's the color story. Kind of odd. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. So I have two very warm bronzy browns more of just a normal neutral brown and then two very cool bluish grays. So there's definitely a lot I could do with this. All right, well, let's just get started. I, I don't really know where this is gonna go. I want to feature the blue, the middle shade. I want that shade to be the main event here. I'm gonna start with Calm from the Elf Opposites Attract palette in my crease. Usually I just, I just have to get started and then I'll kind of start to see a path. Yeah, I think I do want this look to be predominantly cool. Just been really loving cool tones lately. By the way, I should say I've already primed my eyelids. I always do that. I can't get away with not doing it. You know what I just realized is this e.l.f. duo is basically already in the e.l.f. Opposites Attract palette. <laughs> like, okay, let me show you. Those two shades right there are the duo, and those two shades right there are the shades Spicy, and Sassy from the Elf Opposites Attract palette. Pretty similar. This one is just a lot more pigmented. I really like this duo, but I may just not necessarily need it because I just realized I have the same shades in here. But anyway, that was a small tangent. And so now I'm gonna go into the shade Siren in the Elf Earth and Ocean palette and start packing that on at least the inner half of my eyelid. I don't think I've ever worn this just all over my lid, so this will be pretty. And I'm even kind of bringing that up into the crease a little bit. So I can see myself using both of those shades a lot this month, just on their own together. All right, I think now I'm gonna dip into Antique Bronze from Modern Renaissance, the only non-elf shadow that I got. I'm just gonna use kind of a standard sized crease brush from Profusion, this is their blending brush. Start building that in my outer corner. It's gonna to start to introduce a little bit of warmth to this look and then we'll see what else we can do. Wait, I actually really like that in there. So I'm starting to get some clarity now. I am gonna put some of Tempera on my brow bone just to act as like a blending shade right now. So that I'll have an easier time blending things in a minute. So I'm starting to kind of see where this could go. So I, I think I'm gonna take now some of this pumpkin pie shade from this quad taking that on a small crease brush just a little bit. This quad is really impressive, by the way, this pumpkin pie quad, really amazing quality. 
I really want more of those quads now. I am just going to take this right above where everything else is, just to warm up the crease a little bit. Basically just taking that and blending it around the entire perimeter. That elf siren shade is giving me life right now. That is so pretty. Wow, why do I not wear that shade more often? Oh my goodness. So the only shade I haven't used yet now is this bronze shade from the e.l.f. duo. I sort of want to tap a little bit of this on just the center of my lid. This is, I'll be honest, this is not a very pigmented shadow right here. You have to build it up quite a bit, but I don't necessarily mind that. Just tapping it on just the center part of my lid to like brighten it up a little bit. I'm actually really surprised by how much I like this look. I, at first I thought, wow, these colors don't go together at all, but now that I'm seeing them all together... So I think on the lower lash line, I'm going to go back into Calm here, kind of bringing it all the way across, but mostly focusing it on the outer half of my lower lash line. Okay, I don't think this look needs any liner. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, I do want to just sort of blend a little bit more. You know, I don't think I'll hit pan on antique bronze this month, but I wouldn't be surprised if I hit pan on a different shade in here just due to having it out and using it more. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if I hit pan on tempera or maybe golden ochre this month if I am going to be using this palette more than usual. I don't think this look needs any liner. I'm just going to finish it off with my e.l.f. Keep Your Curl Mascara, which is my current favorite. Great mascara. If you like spiky rubber bristle brushes. Big if there, because I know a lot of people hate this kind of mascara. It's funny because I always go into these looks being so nervous and I'm like, I don't know what to do. And then they end up being some of my favorite looks that I do. Don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. For lips, I realized that I haven't worn this Dose of Colors gloss in on repeat in a very long time. Probably because I've been focusing on my NYX butter gloss, but I do want to wear this one today. It's slightly more tan than the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Ooh, I forgot how good these smell. Mmm. It smells like one of those frosted sugar cookies. Yeah, it smells like frosting. Ooh. Okay, so that's the look. I think my favorite shade out of all five of these is Siren from e.l.f. It's this, it's just such a, I don't even, how would you describe that blue? Like cobalt blue? Denim blue? I always say denim blue, but that could that could mean a lot of things, because denim can be like any shade of blue. <laughs> anyway, really excited to play with these shades some more this month. You'll probably be seeing these on my eyes a lot throughout the month. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to binge watch more of my eyeshadow roulette videos, I'll link the entire playlist down below. And I think that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can catch more of my videos. And I will talk to you very soon in my next one. Bye!